Gotham Collections with Brucey Wayne. We have a special, special episode here and a special guest, Biscuit. Hello, Biscuit. How are you today? I'm doing good, Brucey. Excellent. How are you doing, Brucey? I'm doing exceptional. Okay, so why do we have Biscuit here? Well, he is an avid collector of comic books and he has a hot top five list coming at you. Uh, top three. Top three now. <laughs> oh, it's, it's so good. He turned it to the top three. So this is great. It's great. I'm looking forward to that. And after my weekly top 10 of books you should get now, people are they're still priced well, so they go up in value later. We're going to talk about the top books that are coming out this week, comic book Wednesday, and whether they are poop or they are run for books. So let's start off with number 10. Here we have Metal Gear Solid. This is the first appearance of Metal Gear Solid. And uh, it's kind of a Hail Mary attempt. Brucey tends to think that PlayStation comic book um, comic, you know, issues tend to go up way up in value. So this is no exception. This is the first um, book done by Ashley Wood, exceptional artwork. I think you should run for it now while the getting is good. We saw it for what, $6 on eBay? Yep, it's pretty cheap still. Pretty cheap still. There you are. All right, so number nine, Noble Cause is number three. You've heard me talk about this over and fucking over and over. Well, you should run for it if you haven't run for it already. This is your first cameo of Invincible. Now, this is cover A, and you should all get cover B if you can, because it's got Invincible on the cover. Yes, and he's also, um, it's an homage to the uh, X-Men. So, you should run for that immediately. Number 8, Wonder Woman, number 105. This is the first appearance of Cassie Sandmark. And this is Wonder Girl, and she's in the new Teen Titans uh, comic book. She'll probably be in the show one day. I guess we'll, we'll find out. But anyway, it's about $12 right now, so you should run for it. Run. And it's also Biscuit's favorite character. <laughs> he can't get enough of Cassie Sandman. <laughs> you know, I, I don't have this in my collection. Maybe I'll have to, I'll have to grab it. You should trade with Bruce it's, Wayne. Yeah. He has several of these. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, we'll see. Your favorite character. All right, so we'll move on. So here we have Hawk and Dove at number seven. What a beautiful... Get the new stand because this book is cheap enough as it is. Get it. Get it now. This is the first appearance of Dove, Don Gringer in the show, Teen Titans. Excellent, excellent show. Can't get enough, and she's going to be in season two. And hey, it's uh, Rob Liefeld. It's, so. Yeah, so he does everything he does is amazing. <laughs> yeah. And he's got feet. He's, he's got he's feet got there, there, the usual feet. And um, yeah, very, very nice. <laughs> All right. Oh, dirty. Do you know what this is, Biscuit? I do. What, what is it, Biscuit? This is the first full appearance of Kamala Khan. No. No, this is... No, the, Biscuit. Which, which, okay, wait, there's too many Marvel Point Ones. This is Nova. This is Nova. Yeah, I, I have the other <laughs> cover. So, Oh, yeah, he's on the cover. I have the the variant cover for this book. Yeah. I get to, oh yeah, there's too many different Marble Point ones Just to keep them straight. And they're hard to find the bins because they never have them in order and shit. Uh, yes, but this is Marvel Point number one. And this is the first appearance of Sam Nova. This is the regular, regular cover. Um, Sam Alexander, I should say. So you better run. He might be in the new movie. We don't know. What do you think he'll be in the movie or uh, what? I, well, possibly. I, I don't think he's going to be in Endgame, but I mean, he may be in like the post credit scene or alluded to somehow let's hope so let's hope so you have one of these you must i, I do have one of those and i also have the netball i don't have the black and white cover like that you're about to reveal here <laughs> i do have that cover but the color version of it yeah. which i think is the one in 25 i think no or is it no, one in 10 yeah. i'm not sure this is what's this one one in 50 this is one in 100 okay so the one i have i think is one in 25 Yes, this is just a beautiful book. I thought I'd share with you. I'm very lucky. It is. Yes. It's really awesome. It's a, it's a scorcher. All right. Um, this is a beauty at number five. We have number 77 of Tales of Suspense. First appearance of Peggy Carter. We all love Peggy Carter. Biscuit loves Peggy Carter. I love Peggy Carter. All of our friends love Peggy Carter. We can't get enough. This is a very affordable book on uh, it is. on eBay right now. Anyway, yes, it, I was it's surprised. surprised at how low the prices are on this book. I would, 
I'm tempted to go grab one myself. I don't have this book. Yes, it's a nice book, um, especially if you can find it in fantastic. Yeah, this grade. is in great shape. Yeah, this really one nice is high grade. Beauty. All right. So this one is Amazing Spider-Man number four, and it comes in at number four. I'd like to discuss the variants because they're so really nice, and I'll show them here on the sides of the screen. Um, run for them. Run for them now. This is a character. She's got the, an excellent, you know, costume, cool name, has everything going for it, and already quite popular. And I believe you believe in this book as well. Basically. Yeah, I have a couple of these. I don't have the variant, but I have the regular. And, uh, yeah, I mean, I think Silk's going to be a great character. I mean, she's going to be part of... Um, so there's a new series coming out, uh, oh, the name's escaping me now, but she's part of that team that takes place on the uh, East, uh, well, in the Pacific Rim. Um, it'll mm. come to me. But, yeah, th th and plus she'll probably going to be in the movies as well. So, I mean, she's already, her, her secret identity has already been in the, uh, the movie, but not her yet. So we'll see. Just a matter of time. Yeah. Excellent. So there you have it. There's there's the A cover. Uh, here's a, a beauty at number three. This is one you should get right now because it's about $100, $120, and you can only go up. It's the cover that you know is the most rare and most sought after. It's Young Avengers number one and the first appearance of Kate Bishop, who might be in Endgame. What do you think? Oh, she's in Endgame. She's got to I, be, yes. I, that's her. But he, yes. There's no denying. It's like, I, it is not going to be Hawkeye's daughter. No, that'd be stupid. It's going to be Kate Bishop. Yeah. Like, can you imagine these books go up in value when once they announce that, you know, it's been revealed? Yeah, I mean, it's, it's a no-brainer. I think so. I've got two, well, actually, I have two copies of the book. I have the regular cover, and then I have... I have a copy that came out of the toy version. Yes. And uh, the toy was still at a real, like I don't collect toys, but the uh, the Marvel Legends that had the, uh, I think it was three or four of the uh, Young Avengers in it. Unfortunately, Kate Bishop was not one of the toy characters that is in that set, but the, the comic that I got is from that box. And I just found it at a, at a, at a local comic shop without the toy. And I, I just had to, I grabbed it and it was worth having, so. You would think getting that toy in the box sealed would be very, very nice find. Oh. Yeah, I mean, there's, they were going on. I haven't checked in a while, but I, they were going for approximately a hundred bucks. I think eighty to one hundred bucks on, uh, on eBay hmm. a while back. So, oh. they're still affordable, and if you get that book with it, so yeah, why not? Can't lose. All right, that's a good one. Here's number two, old lady Harley. I really believe in this character, but I, I'm not sure of what will happen. You never know with Batman because, you know, those villains sometimes takes years for them to come back to resurface. But we shall see. Apparently, this is the first appearance of the Joker's son um, and her and him and Harley Quinn. So a really good story here. And you just can't go wrong with the Joker. Um, so we'll just see what happens if we see the character again. This is definitely going to uh, be a I'm sure it'll job. show up again. It's just a matter of time. Yep. It's a money maker. And number one, Brucey Wayne's number one pick. If you're going to spend 50 bucks right now, this is the one to buy, to buy. And this is Black Panther, number two, first appearance of Shuri. You can't go wrong with this character. She's going to be in everything, especially on the uh, Marvel Plus stream, whatnot. So get her now while she's not mind-blowingly ballistically hot. What do you think? Yeah, I don't have this book. Um, the only book I have is the uh, the fir her first cover appearance, which is the second print of uh, Black Panther number one, I believe. But uh, I don't have it. I would definitely. I've look been looking for it, trying to get it at a good price. But uh, yeah, I think it's going to be a great book to have in a, in, a, in your collection. Yep. Run for that one, friends. Run. Now Biscuit's going to talk about his picks. It's uh, three. He had five, and <laughs> now he only has three. I don't know where the other two went. But anyway, um, no, I only I only brought three today. Okay. Well, I, we talked about some other stuff earlier, but um, the only books that I'm, you know, looking at right now. This is a recent pickup. Uh, this is the first appearance of uh, Crazy Jane, who is appearing in uh, the Doom Patrol TV show. And I think she's a highlight of the show. I think she's done a really... The actress portraying her has done a, a great job so far uh, with multiple, multiple personalities, and she's doing a good job of uh, portraying them all. 
But uh, yeah, I think this is a it's going to be an interesting character, especially if the Doom Patrol TV show continues to uh, to go. Uh, I, I yeah, fun character. I didn't know about this book. I wish I did because I would have bought it. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Oh well, you can't win them all. Yeah. Now this one might have uh, gone under the radar a little bit. This is the first and only time uh, Old Man Logan and Wolverine actually meet and uh in the story i'm not going to spoil anything but uh they sit down and have a beer together now who does not want to read uh wolverine or mm-hmm. logan and logan just sitting down having a beer and shooting the shit i mean it's it's a it's a great book and i think you need to to grab it um and as mm-hmm. the title uh suggests dead man logan uh, old man logan is going to die it's no secret So this is going to be the first and only time that they will ever meet. And if you read the book, you'll understand why it will be the only time. But uh, I won't spoil it beyond that. But I think it's it's a book that you should grab. Even like get get the series. But you know if you if you're not sure about the series, at least grab this book, and then I think you're going to want to get the rest. The art's fantastic. The writing's really great. So yeah, run out and get that guy. Yep, that's a winner. And Whoa, I've got, wow. here's uh, what I, I think the big spec book is. I mean, it's already worth quite a bit and it's jumping up. And it's been announced that, I, I, I don't like to to speculate all like or have all my spec books based on movie properties. But this one's going to be pretty big. Um, the state of California has given um, Leonardo DiCaprio and Taika Waititi, who are who are producing the movie the largest grant uh ever from the state to uh to make a movie in wow. the state so i believe the I, I know i haven't read the, this, the whole book yet and i know a little bit about akira but not a whole lot um but from what i understand it's the story will likely because of the money that california is giving to this uh, to this more towards this movie it will probably be based in neo california which is a future um f- yeah like motorcycle. a cycle yeah future <laughs> motorcycle um but yeah this is the i so saw i recently picked up the entire run I, i'm not going to show you the entire run here but uh this is number one and we i also have the oh. extremely hard to find number 38 um so a which is very hard to find um low grade I think it was printed and it came out um, I think it was four or five years after I think that it was uh, the last eight issues I believe perhaps something like that were released about four years after the original uh, 30 books so wow. it w- the last eight or, or so are very hard to find but the art is fantastic the coloring's fantastic. These are these are incredible books, and uh, I'm really happy to have grabbed them. So if you can find them, uh, go for it. This one, I mean, if you can find it, if you can find it at a good price, grab it because this book goes for easily two hundred dollars on eBay. Um, you got the entire set, and I got the entire set. Yeah, yeah one wow. through thirty-eight, and uh, I got a great deal on it. So. Um, yeah, I think that those are my my spec books. That's really, I mean, that's four if you really want to include that one. But that thirty eight is the really the hardest one to find in the set. Wow, really low print run. That's a beautiful Scares. book. It's pretty sweet. I'm, I'm really happy to have it. All right. Well, well, now we're going to talk about Wednesday's books, and then we're going to have another video shortly after of some really nice stuff we picked up. Uh, Biscuit will also be on a guest starring as well. We'll see what he got recently. But anyway, uh, what's coming out Wednesday basically have narrowed it down to four books, myself anyway, um, that you might want to consider. And that's Venom number 13. That's that's Jim Comics pick of the week. And there's a new symbiote coming there. Me, I think it's poop. There's enough symbiotes. And uh, like, geez, enough's enough. Um, there are a lot. But I mean, uh, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm, like, oh, I'm getting Venom anyway. It's on my pull list. So I'll be picking up that book just to, to keep up with what's going on and it is part of the War of the Realms uh, storyline, so, hmm. and it's not Donny Cates, which is yeah. something to be, uh, you know, nice everybody. <laughs> well, you know, Donny Cates is super hot right now, but it's interesting to see, um, 
the you know the a Venom comic that's not written by Donny Cates still getting a lot of attention for that. So yeah. we'll see. News. Then there's Avengers uh, Edge of in- Infant Infinity or something. Yes, <laughs> it's the first appearance of Luna. Um, so I'm just going to mention the first appearance that's coming out this week, and this is one of them. Uh, first appearance of Luna. I looked at the character; it doesn't do much for me. This is just one of those space cadet characters that we'll probably never hear of again. To me, I think it's poop. I wouldn't bother. What do you think about it? I, to be honest, I haven't. Uh, Infinity. Sorry, Edge of Infinity. Edge of Infinity. Yeah. I, I haven't uh, done a lot of looking into the character. I, I don't know a whole lot, so I don't have much to say, to be honest. All right, and then we have. Um, Wonder Woman number 69, that's coming out Wednesday, and apparently there's a first cameo there, and that's Atlantiads, and that's the uh, son of Aphrodite. Uh, there's all kinds of these type of characters in the Wonder Woman and Aquaman universe, and they don't seem to get much um, credit later on, so I would say avoid. It is just a cameo as well. So. That's true, yeah. But... Then, uh... Yeah, I don't know. It, I mean, if you're a Wonder Woman fan, I'm not, uh, again, you're the DC guy here, so. Um, There's so many of these types of characters. and Yeah. yeah. Uh, Batman Begins, number, th- or sorry, Batman Beyond, number 31. And this is the first appearance of Split, a new villain. Um, that could be good. Might be. You never know. Um, again, history dictates they won't be. Um... So I'm going to say avoid this one as well. Um, that's that's just me, and that's my picks. In fact, uh, I, I don't pick anything coming out this week that uh, I would run for. So save your money for the following week, perhaps, or maybe buy a, a nice back issue or something. Is there anything you're, you're looking for this week? Not terribly. I mean, I like we mentioned the symbiote. I, I am getting that just because I'm I, Venom is in my pull list. Um, other than that, uh, I mean, Thanos number one is coming out, which... Uh, to to be honest, I'm I'm a little, I'm not I'm not terribly excited about it, um, but uh, I think you know it could be an interesting uh, storyline. You know the whole Thanos and Gamora dynamic is an interesting one. Um, will I pick it up? Uh, I don't think so. There's uh, there's nothing this week. I honestly I think possibly some of the best spec books of the week might be the Naomi reprints. I mean yeah, that's true. They're, they're everything with Bloody Naomi hot. on it is is hot. I mean, even the second print of uh, of number one is at twenty twenty five bucks. I mean, I don't. There's going to be a third print coming out this week, and it's the last print. Um, so it's hard to say how many copies of that there will be. And I mean, from what I understand, uh, it's an excellent story. I just picked up number one a couple days ago. I haven't read it. Um, I'm scared to read mine. Just yeah, to I'm scared to read mine too at this point. Um, that's part of the reason why I haven't read it. But I mean, I, I I'm tempted to get the reprint just so that I can actually read this story because I hear it. Everything I've heard has been fantastic. So yeah, um, I think those would be the best thing to do. I have a copy of numbers one and number uh, three, so I might try to pick up uh, the reprints of numbers one and two. So that I can read those, and but uh, I think, I mean, they may not go up as high as but as as the first prints, but uh, they're hot books. You never know. Yeah. Those those second and third and fourth prints. And there was me. there was also that uh, that uh, darkest night number seven. Mm, yeah, that's hot. That's a uh, hot I don't book. Have it. I mean, I I almost picked up a copy this weekend, but the, the condition wasn't nice enough for for what I wanted, and uh, but. The, from what I understand, there's a reflection of the White Lantern mm. in one of the one of the appearances. So uh, that's where that book is is a spec book. First appearance of the White Lantern. Yeah, first ring. exactly. Yeah. So sh- there's possibility that Naomi is uh, going to be part of the, the White uh, Lantern Corps. Hmm. Uh, from what it, that's know. possible. Everyone's wondering. That's for sure. Yeah, it's speculation. Speculation. Well, thank you very much, everyone. Thank you very much, Biscuit. Um, we'll have you on the, the show again, I hope. Oh, that'd be great. <laughs> yes, it would be amazing. All right. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends, and please comment. We'd love to hear from you. Thank you. Bye-bye.